much. Uh, from what I from what I gather, um, it's all in the interpretation of. Um, mm. I, I grew up a Christian. You know I got gotcha. you. So, but what but do you? I don't know. But you believe there's one God, or? Yeah. But you don't believe in worshiping the sun, though, right? I believe that a person um, can uh, worship whatever they choose to worship. You and, feel uh, that? That's interesting. Uh, uh, mm. You know, in their own personal opinion, they can create. Uh, but as far as this, Tower of Babel, communication, everything was lost, and yeah. uh, open to interpretation. Interesting. So think about this, right? You do believe there's one great creator, right? right. That creator created me and you, right? right? So if somebody worships a monkey, you think that's right? Instead of worshiping the creator that created us? Um, I think, uh, for me personally, no, but... I mean, right. There you go. So I'm just asking your personal uh, opinion. Uh, but should uh, I believe in, you know, uh, free choice, right. free will? People can make uh, good choices, bad choices. A, a doorknob or... Uh, Right. Uh, you know what I mean? A tree. Um, but you, you, you. you personally, you would say that the creator that created us is the one that deserves to be worshipped, right? Anything that I believe to anything that has a power greater than myself. Anything or that one great creator? Like, what, what, what if somebody's physically stronger than you? Should you worship him or the one that created him? should worship the one who created it. There you go, there you but go. do I may not... Um, hey, it looks like George Lopez. Let's, let's, leave, it, let's leave it at that. But now, now think about this, right? Like when you look in the Bible, this is the Bible, right? Yeah. You see Jesus right. in Matthew 26, 39, and he went a little beyond them and fell on his face. He went on his face and prayed praying to the Father, saying, my Father. So when Jesus worshiped the one true God, right? Shouldn't we worship that one true God, not worship Jesus? What do you think about that? That deep? Well, we also worship Mary too, but that's just because Mary and, and Jesus kind of whiskey dick this thing that's not a fetus. All right. You know I mean? So let, like, let's take it back from that. Anybody can turn water into wine. You're going to be like, all right, well. Right? That's a pretty cool trick, right? Yeah. But, but the issue is, the one that created Jesus, the one that created Muhammad, the one that created Moses, we worship them. Whatever miracles they had were from that one creator. It's not from themselves, right? We shouldn't worship Mary. We shouldn't worship Jesus. We shouldn't worship Muhammad. We believe in the prophets. Peace be upon them. We love them. But we worship that one creator above. The one that we cannot see in this world, in this life. The one we'll see in the hereafter. The one that created all of the universe and whatever else is out there. That one true creator that we can't even imagine in this world. But after this life, when we pass into the everlasting life, we'll see that creator, right? So in this life... You don't think that uh, you see God in every day or the creator in every day? Um... We see the fact that there is a creator by seeing the creation, right? We see signs that there is a creator by seeing how the sun rises, how the moon works, how the planet, I got that. But we don't physically see God in Does this world. Does he ever speak to him? Does he ever speak to you? Allah speaks to us through his book, meaning this is the words of Allah, the Quran. So this is when we learn about what Allah wants from us. He spoke to prophets like Moses and the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. He revealed messages to the prophets. That's him speaking to us, right? So if you want to know about what he says, this is the book. It's yours, free, right? But now me and you would agree that that one great creator is the only one that should be worshiped, right? Others should be revered and those uh, there you go, man. There you go, bro. There you go. Have some respect for them. A little twisted, you know what I mean? Exactly. And, exactly. So now, now, exactly what you said. We should have reverence for them. We should respect them, like Jesus, Muhammad, Moses, Abraham, Noah, Adam. We love them. We respect them, but we don't worship them. Do you, do you put your see? Uh, okay. Two questions. Uh, do you fear God? Or Allah? Let me answer it this way. I love Allah. I fear Allah. I'm aware of Allah. I, I have a what's called 
taqwa, and I hope to have more of it, right? Which is that I am always aware that my God sees me, right? There's different types of fear. There is fear, like, like if a cop rolls up on me right now with a gat out, there's a fear that I have of the gun. That's not how I fear Allah. I love Allah, so I don't want to upset Allah. I don't want to disappoint my Creator. I don't want to sin, and I know about the power of Allah, so I fear Allah. Right? But it's not a fear like I have of the cops, it's a different fear. It's a fear that, that's mixed with love and respect and willing submission. I'm a Muslim, I submit myself to my Creator. And you need to be as well. Right? Think about it. Look, as a Muslim, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I pray, I fast, I live a clean life. In this world, I have a great life, right? I recognize my one true creator, I don't worship the creation. So in the life hereafter, I have the best, I have the Jannah, the paradise that is never ending. Imagine everlasting bliss. What's this life? You know it's full of pains and hardships, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true, right? But they got an everlasting life that's forever where you will never die, you will never get sick, you will never leave your, your loved ones that are in paradise with you. You will see your Lord. You don't want that? I definitely won't go in what I got going on now. Islam's your answer, bro. Like, I'm not going to, dis uh, uh, I'm not going to yeah. disagree with you. Um, this is a card to get a hold of us, all right? It's got a number, all right? I'm going to write my name on it for you. My name is Osman. Darren? Yeah. I, uh, I've, always, I've already been, uh, I've been thinking about this. I spoke to somebody about it anyway. See? I grew up Christian and I, I, I went completely sold on it. And, uh, uh, I'm the same way, bro. I grew up going to the church and I realized it wasn't the truth. And when I got to Islam, I realized it's the truth just the way you have. See, Allah brought you here today. You didn't come here on accident. Whatever experiences you've been having has been leading up to you coming here to this table, right? And now you know the truth. You know there's only one great creator and that creator gave you a purpose and that purpose is to worship him. Is there a difference between worshiping and doing his will? Because you can do his will and not really worship him. So we as Muslims, we do what Allah commands. And we consider all of what we do to be a worship for Allah. Even me out here right now, this is a form of worship. Worship is not just praying, right? When we, when we go and help the needy, that's worship. When we stop an oppressor from harming somebody who's weak, that's a form of, of worship. But it's not just praying and fasting, right? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that if you see an evil, correct it with your hand. If you're not able to, then with your tongue. And if you're not able to, then with your heart. And that is the lowest level of Iman. The Prophet, peace be upon him, told us that Iman, faith, has many branches, right? So you said with the hand first? Yeah, with the hand first. Ah, you you feel me? I like that. You like it, right? That's that natural. That's that fitra coming out. Nah, with your hand first. If you're unable to stop it with your hand, then yeah, you just speak about it. When you see evil, you see some dude about to molest some little girl, you, you can stop with your hand, you stop it, right? You ain't gonna turn the other cheek. You turn the other cheek, you're just gonna keep getting slapped. You feel me? Right. It makes sense to you though, right? Right? In Islam, we don't believe in turning the other cheek. Somebody hits you, you stop them. Right? You don't oppress people. You don't, you don't instigate violence. You don't do all of that, right? We believe in peace. We want to live a peaceful life, but we aren't going to let anybody take advantage of us. Right? You feel that? Oh, no, I can. Yeah, I, I, uh, I can all right, so now you tell me this. The concept, one great creator who created everything, created me and you, gave us life, gave us purpose, sent all the prophets, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them, as prophets of God. What do you think about that? I, I do believe there is a creator and I do believe that there is a prophet. Um, That's it, you're Muslim. That's the Muslim belief. That's the beginning of your Islam. There's a lot more to learn. I'm not saying you're done, but that's the beginning, right? I definitely, uh, I, I definitely agree 
with um, with the philosophy uh, on some other things uh, as well. So, uh, right. So now you tell me. Do you believe there's only one great creator that's the only one that should be worshipped Allah? I do believe that. All right. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad was a prophet sent by Allah? I do. Then you are a Muslim. Uh, what, are, what are the uh, deciding factors um, for you to... Uh, uh, Excellent. Great question. So, we don't believe Jesus was God. We don't believe Jesus was a son of God. We believe he was a prophet born miraculously, right? We respect him. We love him. We, we have a great uh, honorable status that we gave to him as a prophet of God. We believe the same about Moses and Abraham and all the prophets. They were prophets. We love them. We respect them, but we don't worship them. You good on that? We don't worship idols. We don't worship wood. We don't worship stones. We worship none but that one great creator. We pray five times a day. We fast when the month of Ramadan comes. We give poor whatever we can to help them out. If you have money, if you don't have, then no, but if you can, right? If you can, if you have the money and health, we go for Hajj to Mecca once in a lifetime. You feel me? How do you like all that? We're going to learn all of that. It's discipline. Every morning, wake up, pray Fajr, get your day on straight. Can you lose your salvation? If you have the aqidah, if you have the belief, and you believe in one God, and you don't worship anything else, you don't do what's called shirk, you don't associate any partners with God, you're good. Even if you sin, even if you fall off, even if you make mistakes, you're human. How, how, what do you mean associate? Because um, it's easy to get caught up in, um, uh, in the flesh or in sin or in... Uh... So, so that's the difference. Sin is not... Is not for example, if somebody goes and lies, or somebody steals, or somebody fornicates, that's not associating things with Allah. That's a sin, right? But to worship other than Allah, to pray to other than Allah, like for example, somebody prays to Jesus, somebody prays to Moses, somebody prays to uh, Buddha, somebody prays to Rama, whatever else, that is associating other than, with, uh, with Allah other than Allah. That is shirk. We don't worship graves, we don't worship idols, we only worship that one great creator. And as long as you stick to that, you got your salvation. Uh, I mean, is, would it not be okay to um, uh, pray uh, to uh, or pray uh, through, you mean? Through the prophets for yes. some, uh, you know what I mean? Like on, on, on certain occasions or for certain Good things? Good question. See, Allah says, worship me. Ba'budu, yani, so worship Allah directly right and Allah says to that call upon me make dua to me directly so why would you go through somebody you have that direct relationship uh, you want to you want to confess you don't need to go to no priest and tell him what you did you raise your hands you say oh Allah forgive me you supplicate to Allah you make dua you get up you pray you have that direct conversation you make tawbah you repent from your sins it's all between you and God what is uh So, um, you, uh, you really, that's basically it. And you, it makes sense, right? We're going to do your testimony of faith. You're going to be a Muslim today. You, we're going to do it. I'm going to do it in English with you first, all right? I'm going to ask you first. Do you bear witness that there is none that should be worshipped except one God, Allah? You believe that that Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad as a servant and messenger of Allah? Others, yes. Amongst others, we believe in all of them. Good. So I'm going to do it in Arabic. You're going to do it with me. All right. Ashhadu al la ilaha illa Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammada abduhu wa rasulu. You did excellent, man. The pronunciation was even good. Allah, 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 Allah. All right. <laughs> so I bear witness. Say it with me. I bear witness. I bear witness. There, is none worthy of there is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And the Prophet Muhammad. Is the servant. And messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. You are Muslim.